Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 26, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Night Shift, and our scripture is Psalm 134. O praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you who serve at night in the house of the Lord. Lift your hands toward the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. You might be one of those dear folk who works the night shift. I have to admire your ability to deal with the odd hours and a schedule that's upside down from the rest of the world. When I was very young, my dad worked the night shift at an aircraft factory. He was just getting home when we got up. He'd sleep while we were at school and he'd already left for work by the time we got back home. When my children were very young, I had a brush with the night shift. It was 1980 when Elizabeth and I packed all our stuff into a U-Haul and moved 600 miles to New Orleans to attend seminary. We didn't have a clue where we'd live or how we would feed and clothe our three kids. It was a leap of faith, and God took care of it all. The first job I had was working the night shift as a security guard. It gave me quiet and time to study. The job lasted two days before I realized falling asleep in the following day's classes was not going to work well. There's another kind of night shift which almost every Christian I've known has labored. It's that time in the dead of night when you should be asleep, but that loved family member's health is failing. Your job isn't going well. The month has lasted a lot longer than the money in your bank account. And your child is, well, you fill in that blank. Well, God never lived in the sanctuary. That's the place where we meet him. And in those particularly difficult times when life is uncertain, hard, and sometimes downright scary, we work night shift in his arms. We pray and we pray hard. Sometimes we drift off in the middle of prayers as God gives his beloved rest. Sometimes God directs us to work the night shift. As Jesus was driven to the wilderness to fast and pray after his baptism, we are compelled towards prayer in the crisis moments of life. As a pastor, I've seen the night shift look on more than a few drained faces. Sometimes, the results of night shift intercession for God's move are seen in a church Sunday morning nap in the pew during a too long sermon. It's the night shift, part human condition, part divine intervention. We must pay attention to life during the night shift. For you today, one of my night shift prayers for you today is what the psalmist prayed. May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Jerusalem. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.